Hi guys, and welcome back to Fallout 76 for this walkthrough on one of the new requests, the Order of the Tadpole with the Owl Scouts. This is pretty cool. There's two ways to access this quest. One is via any train station. See that poster there, Pioneer Scouts Recruiting Poster? You can read that or in the Atomic Store, you can pick up these free posters for your base and plot them down anywhere you like. I tend to have two in my base at any given time. Once you've read it, you get a miscellaneous quest in the top right to head over here to a Pioneer Scout Camp. Which is like, what is that event there? But yeah, so you head over to the Pioneer Scout Camp. And as soon as you arrive, you see you kind of unlock the Order of the Tadpole. So we're going to make our way to this little ooh, weapon is not looking good here. I'm going to use one of these little repair kits. I usually never do. Here we go. All right. Oh, I've triggered the damn event. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to keep moving towards this marker. I need to find the source of the noises. The noises are being distorted by this damn event. Shut up, Grafton Mayor. All right, so kind of clear out the area, and when you do, just come around the corner, and Hello. you'll find Scout Leader Jaggy. Why, you have the look of a promising recruit, and that's just the kind of person I'm searching for. Due to membership numbers falling below acceptable standards, I have been authorized by, well, myself, to welcome you to the Pioneer Scouts. You have joined the ranks of the most patriotic and perpetually prepared young, and recently not so young, men and women of America. You are hereby assigned the rank of Tadpole. This is your official Pioneer Scout uniform. Keep it clean and wear it with pride. Now go forth, my little tadpole, and get to work on those badges. With diligence and determination, you'll be a possum in no time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a funny guy. We're going to wait for this to unlock now. Basically, when we complete the order of the tadpole, and there's quite a bit to it, we unlock the backpack and the backpack's quite cool in that you're going to have some additional carry space and there are some mods and whatnot you can unlock and install but there's going to be a lot of work involved for those as well but let's just start from the beginning so we need to dem demonstrate pioneer scout values so kindness by reviving an ally we need to do the kitty corner cabins and control pests at dolly sods and we need to earn three world challenge badges and that will be the four so two of them the one about dolly sods and the one up here in kitty corner these are actually daily quests so they're repeatable you can do them every day and potentially unlock badges that way so we're going to start over here in dolly sods and as soon as you arrive just kind of head in the door now i think there's some flying things around yep just kind of drop those in fact, there might be a legendary one behind me. I took more shots than I was expecting. There he is. Much better. Alright. I'll take that bad boy, I think, to one of the legendary scrapping machine things. We of the Pioneer Scouts have a proud lineage and tradition. Oh, great. Another tadpole. I was once the assistant to a world renowned entomologist. Now, I'm a Pioneer Scout leader. I bet you don't even know what an entomologist is. The last tadpole kept saying etymologist. I hit him with a dictionary. Actually, my programming didn't let me. But I wanted to really badly. Entomology is the study of bugs, not words. And there are far too many bugs around these days. When did they get so big? I've been continuing my previous primary investigator's work. If you could get me some insect parts from these new species, I could fashion an insect repellent. Here's a list. I've marked some places where you might find the right species. But really, the parts can come from anywhere. Alrighty. So we need to get... Oh, not yet, dude. So what have we got here? Uh, blood bug. So we can already knock that one off the list. That leaves us with the bloodfly, radroach, stingwing, and tick. 
So there are little markers on the map that can be quite helpful to kind of steer you in the right direction as to where to find these species. So I'm going to head to this one first, the Rad Roach one. Now the problem with these markers is like maybe three or four of them will spawn, some places even just two. But because these are daily repeatable quests, and this is such a new quest overall in general, these places are being farmed. So it's quite possible you'll arrive. I did several times in several of these locations, and there was absolutely nothing to find. There was nothing to kill. There was nothing to harvest. By the way, here's my rad roach, so that's going to be rad roach meat off the list. So places I come across where I don't find anything, obviously I have to find an alternate. So I'll give you some examples here in a minute. I'm going to go look for maybe the stingwing barb. Because I have to run to the other one. So I come up and there's a legendary stingwing. Sweet. And there's another one there as well, a regular one. So there's two. So we'll take, oh, another one for the legendary exchange machine. Thingy bob. So I have stingwing meat. But what I need is a stingwing barb. And of the two that were here, neither had the barb. So at this point, you can server hop. So quit as you're standing here, quit the game, reload, come back in. Um, and do it that way, or you can go to another location. So I'm going after the tick first. So I've come south of Vault 76 to the uh, lumber yard. And the reason I've come here, because I couldn't find the ticks either, by the way. They had already been killed before I arrived. But I know when I come to the lumber yard, because I come here a lot for wood, obviously. Um, there's always these annoying ticks in here. So, there we go. Ah, there we go. And sure enough, there's the blood sack. Fantastic. So we'll keep going with locations that I know, because the other ones have, have been farmed like crazy. If I keep coming south here to this cemetery, this is full of those bloat flies. It's absolutely jam-packed with them. So it's not like a random one and one or two here and there. They're like, they're all over this graveyard. I remember this one quite well. So this is your go-to place for bloat flies. Absolutely. They're just, it's just covered in them. It's brilliant. And there's the gland that we need. Now, if you're interested in cooking any of this meat or whatever, do not. It has to stay in your inventory or it won't count towards the quest. And finally, over here is Bleeding Kate's Grindhouse. And here you'll find stingwings. They're all over the place. All over the place. And you'll find your stingwing barb here. And when you're ready, you need to deliver all these insect parts to the Pioneer Scout Leader. So that's just right back where you were at Dolly Sods again. Just drop in and hand them back. Look, the legendary's back again already. It's spawned back. I was quite happy with that because, of course, I have a legendary drop, and that's another trade in for the legendary exchange machine. Stingwing barb, rad roach meat. Where's the blood bug proboscis? Oh, there it is. You got everything I asked for. I'll whip up a batch, and you're ready to go. Drink this down. And insects will find you taste just awful. Kind of like this repellent taste. All right, awesome. And that's out of our way. So next we're going to do the kid, the one, um, the kitty, kitty corner cabins. Why is that so difficult for me to say? So just fast travel in and head up and over. Or up and around, I should say. There's not too much here to clean out. And you head up to this scout leader up here. Scout leader Pompey. Did you know that toxic waste can harm plants and animals? Well, it sure can. You must be the new tadpole. It's always nice to meet a new pioneer scout. I love nature, don't you? Pioneer scout. Look at that guy back there. Nature. I think we're gonna be um, <laughs> we're gonna be overrun. Yeah, here they come. Good. What do all the boys and girls in Pioneer Scouting hate? It's toxic mutagenic waste. Can you say toxic mutagenic waste? This isn't typical, by the way. I was just unfortunate here. But that's a fantastic source of... 
Adhesive. I knew you could. You can earn a badge by cleaning up nasty old toxic mutagenic waste and putting it in a containment barrel. Can you say containment barrel? I knew you could. Now run along and earn that badge. Toxic mutagenic waste may cause spurious genetic modifications, some of which may be harmful or even fatal. That badge won't earn itself. Fair enough, so let me grab my adhesive everywhere. So, it's over here at the golf course that it wants me to go. Now, the, the location changes daily. And this one is pretty easy. You just follow the markers. It's good. They, over here, it's, uh, I guess, I imagine in each and every one of them, it's highly radioactive. So, do you have some power armor on? Or a uh, radiation suit of some kind? Just to kind of protect you from the elements. And there's five in total to pick up. There's just this yellow gooey stuff. It actually more, looks more like yellow plastic. But nonetheless, we just grab the five. So we're at three, four, uh, four. One more over here. All right, and we'll jump right back. There's five, yeah, okay. So just jump back over to the kiddies cabin thing place and we dump them in this barrel so that's another one done that should now put us up to two out of four pioneer scout values so we need to revive an ally which is kindness and we need to earn three scout badges That kind of, that number was really high that I earned there. But I'm just checking. I was like, oh, did the game glitch? Do I have like 50 something thousand or whatever it said? No, I don't. I do not. That's unfortunate. Okay, to revive an ally, I've headed to the encryptide event. Because everyone's always dying around here. So I'm just going to chill. There's not that many people here. So to take on the event now, we should have one or two deaths. Uh, myself included. Which will give someone else the opportunity to show kindness and revive an ally. Now, in rewatching this footage, there are a few deaths I noticed on the rewatch that I missed when I was there. I was <laughs> running around, doing my own thing, and um, on a rewatch, I actually see where people downed. Now, a lot of people are just using that, um, oh, help me thing, but they're not actually in need of a revive, which is kind of annoying. There's not really much I can do to help you, so I don't know why you're running around doing that. I was like, is this guy down? Nope. He's not. I just want someone to go down so I can uh, pick you back up. So yeah, I think places like this are great to go. If there's a battle going on with the Queen as well, um, Scorch Beast, by all means, go there. Um, or if you have a friend in the game, just kind of shoot them, knock them down, pick them up. I'm not really playing with anyone at the moment, so I have to do this solo. So, that's why I came to this event. There we go. Stim pack him. And that's done. The revive an ally is done. The kindness has been shown. And in fact, the favor is returned in just a moment anyway. Cool event though. This is always enjoyable. Now for the badges, I'm actually going to do these because there's a lot to them. I'm going to do them on separate videos. You'll see the playlist in the top right hand of your screen. But if you go into the challenges and go to worlds, you'll see all these tadpole challenges. So like archer, athlete, codebreaker, cook, entomologist, uh, herpetologist, etc, etc. There's a hunter. There's a whole rake of them there. You need to get three of these. And each one, and I quite like how they've done this because there's a lot involved to get these. But each one requires a few different steps. And rather than make this video one big massive long video, I'm instead going to break these out as I do them. Because you only need three to, to pass this section. And the three that I've selected might not necessarily be the three that you would prefer or be equipped to select. But if any of my choices are suitable, i.e. there are choices that you would like to follow, 
um, then I'll have guides on those as well, and I'll continue to um, I'll continue to to make them until I have them all over time. So it's going to take me time, but keep an eye on that playlist as I unlock more and more. I'll put up tutorials on those, and once you have all that done, you report back to the scout leader. So once you've everything done and you've unlocked your three badges, you come back. And so it's time for recognition and reward. Hooray! In the spirit of our proud Pioneer Scout motto, Ever Upwards, I am pleased to grant you the rank of possum. Possum, baby, Your yeah. challenges will be greater, as will my expectation. No, you'll find the pluck and perseverance you need to succeed. Right then, it's time to get to work on your next set of badges. Go out there and the and next set of badges Santa are Christ. even worse, guys. There's so, so much involved in the next set, but you need to get those to unlock mods to mod your Pioneer Scouts Tadpole backpack, which you just unlocked from doing the order of the Tadpole. Now, there's something you should be aware of with this backpack. Little tip in case you're not aware. So if we go to items and we go to our... Oh, go try and find the backpack. Where is it? There, the Pioneer Scout Tadpole Bad Pack. If you have a look at its carry weight below damage resist, it gives you an additional 30 carry weight. That's pretty cool, but kind of useless. It's best you just drop this. I'll show you why. Because you have the plans already, you just unlock them by doing the event. If you go to your armor crafting station and craft a level 50, you'll see the carry weight is 60. So instead of holding on to that one you just unlocked with 30 carry weight, you can actually go and craft yourself a level 50 one and double the carry weight and unlock uh, one part of the backpacker challenge as well, which is something I'll look into at another time. So that's quite useful. Hopefully you found it some bit useful. If you liked the video, please do hit that like button and like the video. If you're not already subscribed, consider a subscription. We've got loads more videos coming as time passes. We're going to do all the possum challenges, all the tadpole challenges, and everything that you will need to unlock all the different mods for these backpacks and everything else that is coming. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. All the best.